Wow. You know, um, I'm going to do my best to try to follow that act because Snoop is just like, I mean, he is one of a kind, man. I mean, first and foremost, congratulations on your star. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there. I was over in Australia, but you know I wanted to be there. Um, you know, there is a kindred spirit amongst all of us as entertainers, but the one thing that I have to say that I want to share about Quincy Jones is that, you know, when you think of his name immediately, immediately you think of him as a musician, you think of him as a producer, you think of him as a humanitarian, you know, an entrepreneur, a history maker, obviously, and a legend of legend, legends. But Snoop is right, man. What he is is a mentor. And what he's been to me, outside of being an amazing mentor, is also to a father figure, a big brother when I need it, a shoulder to cry on when nobody would understand, an open door when you needed a path in the right direction. And it might not necessarily have always been what you wanted to hear, because Q would tell you how it is. He would say, you need to get that shit together. You know, and, but the reality is, it takes that type of rearing. It takes that type of care and appreciation for the craft and all of the people who can actually pave the way. And I thank you for being that to me and to so many others who would love to be up here and I feel like I represent uh, in recognizing you today. Um, you are a teacher, man. You're a truth seeker, you know? And I remember when I first, I thought I had made it, right? I had number one records and then I came to your house. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> but um, you've always been one that reminded me that family was more important than anything. Every time I see you, the first thing you always ask me is, how your mama? And you don't know whether Quincy asking, because you know Quincy, he, he, he a lover, you know what I'm saying? And they all love him, because she asked about you too. But um, you always make it clear that family is important, because that's the love. That's the love source that continues to, to feed the idea. Not all of the, the things that come with it. I mean, we can sell records, we can have cars, we can, you know, have incredible Norman Checo jackets, you know what I'm saying, and, and all that cool stuff. But the reality is, the thing that matters is the passion and the love and the commitment and the compassion for others that you always conveyed through all that you've done. It's been like a constant seek for humanity, to tear down barriers where there's been so many people who've said, you know what, we're gonna put you in this box. You are this, you are that, you are R&B, you are pop, you are rock. You, you tore all that down and said, no, there ain't no barriers. We blur the lines, because there is no way to have love just one way. We gotta all respect each other. We gotta all live together. We gotta all grow together. And I thank you, because I wouldn't be the philanthropist that I am today. I wouldn't be the humanitarian that I am today if you didn't make me understand that there's so much more important than what you're doing in music, son. You gotta give back. You gotta make sure that you continue to supply the resource, the love, the passion, empathy for those people who may not necessarily have the voice to raise it. So thank you, Q, man. Thank you. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out, because I wrote a couple of things down too, but I ended up just talking to you, because I think that it always turns into an informal conversation. We just kind of go off the cuff. I done had some of the craziest conversations at three o'clock in the morning with Quincy. He be in the club longer than I'm there. I'm like, where are you going? You, you, you leaving? He's like, yeah, and I'm going to the next party. You, what you doing? <laughs> but um, the one thing that I, I will say is amazing about you is that you'll more than likely be one of the first to arrive, but also to always the last to leave. <laughs> and those relationships matter more than anything. Once again, you know, family, like your relationship with Ray, you know, that right there reminds us that you can love this and still have your homies, your team. When I look down here and I see Snoop and I see Dre in the same line, I'm like, that's what it's about right there. That magic, continuing to keep that together because that is why we do it. We don't just do it to celebrate, we do it to celebrate it with our family. Thank you, Q, man. 
when I think of um, quotes, right, I was trying to figure out something that I could say. Um, this quote from Fred Astaire came to mind. Um, he said something like, if you do it big, do it right and do it with style. But the one thing that I hope that I'll be able to add as a result of having spent this lifetime with you is I'm going to add one thing to that. Do everything in your life with love. Because that's what you've been. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm going to continue to lift you up forever, brother. <laughs> we celebrate you today. And this is an amazing moment for all of us. I love you, Quincy.